got it here this simple grill and a fun mail big thanks for the company sending it over to me make this video possible let's see what's inside here there's a little holster very nice case okay let's unpack it look at all these uh, squirrels look at that this is a blower that is so cool this way or this way whatever more comfortable this is nice so for charcoal Ooh, comes with a, a brush to clean it and we got right here folding grill what it looks like let's unbox it and set it all up also comes with one of this uh, I don't even know what you call this like tones very skinny tones I like it okay and this is looks like legs and a box because there's plastic corners wow that's it and all the legs go this way Ooh, this is gonna be good I already see it's gonna flop down when I'm gonna flip it over it is so easy to unfold and fold that is awesome okay that is it okay it unfolds and locks in that's it so charcoal will go in here and uh, add on the meats and things like that burger sausage hot dogs chicken comes with extra squirrels I love it wow that is cool too okay take it off so yeah this one looks like for the ventilation and on charcoal or wood either way my favorite part how easy it is to fold it unfold it and slides back in wow and it comes with the holder everything stays together so well and again quick way to unfold it again I usually unbox it this way get the legs out and then grab this way my hands on the bottom that way it flips over beautiful then I'm gonna drop this in grab this curls or hot dogs there is nachos and burgers will go in here it's so nice I love it very nice and sturdy even though it's very very folding um, which is most important okay fold it up very easy get all the legs down plenty of ventilations on the side very thick material love it one of my most favorite grilled charcoal gadget set up the fire starter and then just put it over it light it I'm gonna put more fire start starter and this fire starter is pretty protected there now and now if I cover it up with the charcoal it's not going to suffocate it it has plenty of oxygen there and also we have a little chimney like entrance right here so I can get a lot of fire starter going and get out lots of food Let's see how it goes make a little mountain I really am trying to cover it up so it would suffocate but it does not suffocate it just flames still coming out there's still plenty of flames from the top and the oxygen going to here so don't have to worry about it suffocating at all there's still I see flame on the inside you see those yellow so it's going now all I have to do is just leave it this way uh, get mosquitoes away with this good mosquito repellent I love it I love grilling out and uh, we're going to have a nice hot um, course in about I don't know 10-15 minutes we'll come back to it also I got this gadget in a fun mail fire intensifier create the best campfire ever so it's a little fan pretty much let's open one and use it on the charcoal my fire starter burn out now the coals are just burning hot uh, so let's see how hot it will get when charcoal turns white that means it's getting hot wow that is quite easy to use I don't see any smoke and charcoal getting really really hot 
Nice. Gets really, really hot. In the dark, it would have been even redder. That is easy. Boom, and it actually got on fire. It got so hot. So, yeah, get the charcoal going really fast. Probably don't even have to go that hard. This is hilariously awesome and works really well. Simple, but also can be used as a flight swapper. This one kind of simple gadget, but you know, I bought wooden uh, plastic brushes and that's what keep happening. I put it under there and it melted off or just by mistake touched it somewhere and melted off or wooden ones, same thing. They just break whenever I'm like, holding it really hard and trying to scrape it really stone they break off on me that's why i just upgraded to a metal one so works really well scrape all this stuff i like it very metal so i can really put some weight to it bend over a little bit but i like and i have a little bend to it because i put a lot of muscle too cleaning because that's the only way sometimes to clean it so I need a really durable brush I like it this one is really good I need to turn on the grill so I clean it off all the way this side here is a corner cleaner it's quite nice I like it. Very comfortable handle. Nice. And scrubs off really well. Also, whenever I need to clean on the inside of the grill, you can scrub this off, take it all apart, and clean it all out. That pen is definitely ready to be cleaned. Very nice and skinny, so where it can stick in there too. Gas tank gauge and it has three-way splitter. So in case there's a multiple grills or bugs grill, there's uh, adapters for it. So we'll be probably using just one, uh, the end one. So it goes onto the tank. Also, it has a glow-in-the-dark uh, indicator error. That's cool. My grill usually exposed into the sun, and most likely this will be exposed to the sun too, or light. Okay, this goes into here, and let's see if it indicates the pressure. Okay, all the way on, all the way on tight, and turn this on. And let's focus on the gauge. Right now it's on red. And there you go. The indicator showing that is green, kind of halfway green. Let's plug it into a different tank. But also, let's see if it's a glow in the dark. Oh, yeah, it's definitely is a glow in the dark. And it illuminates the green as well. That is so cool. Wow. So, grilling at nighttime wouldn't be a problem. Second grill, second maybe a box grill, attachment splitters, that is so cool. Okay, once I shut this off and release some of the pressure on the grill, it will go to zero because pressure released. Nice, then I can remove this and then easy to take it off for a different one. So the grill pressure gauge attachment right here so it will go into the gas tank like this right now it's on off and plug this in slides in all the way tight and right now it's on the red because there's no pressure going through because it's on off the gauge is right here let's turn it on oh it's like seen over here on full do you hear that it clicked in? That is cool. On maximum. Beautiful. Now I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to release the gas to the um, stove. Right here. Let's see if it will indicate 
that we're losing gas. Wow. Yeah, so it definitely losing pressure. And then it's off. Because I shut it off from here and I release the gas to the stove. That is cool. So I'm probably just going to keep it on here. So that way next time before I start cooking to see if it's full or not. And if I run out of gas, I'll see it on the low or red. And before I even figured out that my grill is out of gas, I can look at it uh, and quickly change it and continue cooking.